Hello, welcome. My name is Anieti, and in this class, I want to introduce you to statistics and exploratory data analytics. We'll be paying attention to the Titanic data set that you can find on Cargo. I'll drop the link where you can download this particular data set. And I want to give credit to Vinicius Barbosa for making this data available for us to use. The intent of this class is to make us understand how to use statistics in our data analytics and how to explore data to understand it better. We'll also look at how to work with missing values. So quickly, let's get to it. Now, the first thing we need to do is to download the data set. Click on download. Okay, so I have the zip file and I need to extract the zip file. So right click on it and click extract all. Click on extract. We have the file Titanic. So let me call it Titanic data set. Okay, let's just look at the data sets before we start. Okay, we have these columns. We have the P class, the survived, the name, the sex, age, the siblings, the parents and children, the ticket, fare, cabin and other details. If we look at this part of the data, we we'll see the survival, the first column, the survival, zero means no one means yes, passengers, first class, second class and the uh, Third class, you can say high first um, high class, middle class, and then low class. The name, the sex, the age, the number of siblings, so the SIB, SP, and the number of parents, the tickets number, the passenger fare, the cabin, and other details. The key idea in this data is to look at the factors that affect survival. One year means the person survived, zero means the person did not survive. So what are the factors that determine the survival? And for today's class, so that it's not really you know, too long or complicated. We'll look at the class. If the passenger's class affected survival, so we'll check if gender had effect on survival, and we'll also check if age had effect on survival. There are other areas you can look at also later, but for this class, I will not pay attention to them much. I will just focus mainly on the class, the sex, and the age. So let's start with this. Let's begin to explore. The first thing we want to do is to understand how to work with missing values. If we come to this column, if we use filter, click on filter, we discover that in the H column, we have some missing values. We have other missing values in other columns, but we'll pay more attention to the H columns for remove the filter. So how do we handle missing values in our data sets? One principle you must note is this. If the missing values is more than 30% of the entire data in the column, I will advise you to drop the column. We don't need that column in analysis. So we want to check that. We want to check the missing values first before we continue with this analysis. With this analysis. So how do you check for missing values if we meet or do not meet the 30% mark that we just talked about? Create another worksheet. Let's call it test. And then what we'll do with test is Use equal to, and then click on this header. Reference cell, uh, we want to reference the different headings that we have there. Okay, so it ends with this. We'll remove this, we don't need it. So the next thing is we want to use the count blank function to look at all the missing values in that column. So we'll do count blank. I press on tab, and I hit on the Titanic data set. Hit on the first column, shift control down arrow, and then press enter. So there's no missing value in the first row. We drag it to the last row. Okay, good. So in the H column, we have 263. In the cabin column, 1000 and this, and we have in the different columns. So secondly, we want to check the we want to check the total number of rows in the data set because how do we get the percentage if it's up to 30%? Is equal to the blanks divided by the total number of rows. So to do get the total number of rows, we use the count function, and we do the same thing. Shift Control Down Arrow, and we press Enter one three zero nine. So from this, we can say the percentage from each column is equal to this divided by this. And if we drag it all the way down, we'll have this error on these other columns. So what we need to do, we need to lock the denominator on here. So just click on this one and then press F4. And then press Enter. So if we drag it all the way down, we have the different percentages. If we change it to percentage, right click on it, click on Format Cell, 
and then click on percentage. So this is an indicator. Cabin column, the number of missing values is more than 77%. So we will not use it in this analysis. We'll drop it. So let me just color it red. We will not use this one, this one, and this one. We will not use them in analysis. Now the column that we pay little attention to, based on our discussion when we started, is this column. So we have identified the missing values, and we've also indicated the values we will drop. So how do we handle these missing values? There are different ways. There are classic ways. As a beginner, there's a simple way. We can use the median to replace missing values when the value is a numeric data. In this case, we need to get the median of this age column to be able to fill in these blank spaces. And to do that, we use simple statistics. Now, you need to activate the analysis tool pack. Click on data, click on file, go to options, and click on add-ins. The manage section is set to Excel add-in. Click on go. Then what you do, just click on analysis tool pack, and then click on OK. When you do that, if you go back to the data tab, you will see data analytics showing. How do we get the mean of the age column? So click on data analytics, select descriptive statistics, and click OK. Now the first thing is we need to select the input range. So click inside here, and if we click from the input age, just keep pressing until you get to the end of your data selection. Okay, so I press the up arrow to get back to that point. So this is the end of the selection. Good. Now the output range, where do you want to display the answer? So we want the answer to be displayed somewhere around here. And make sure you check summary statistics and then click OK. So if we expand this, we have the median age as 28. So this value will be used for our median age in our analysis. And I close it without saving. So the corrections we made, they are not affected. So start a new Excel. Let's import the data. So it gets data from file from workbook. And if we go to downloads, Titanic data set imports. Okay, so we have the data set. Click on the Titanic data set and then click on transform. The first thing we want to do is let's check the number of rows. The number of rows 1310. Okay. When we refresh, we discover that there is a null value. The leg is exploit and see where the null value is. Okay, there is a null value, there is nothing in it. So one of the key things is we need to remove that null values. So how do you delete null values? Simply uncheck it and then click on OK. So now if we check the number of rows again, it's 1309, which is the correct number of rows. Now the next thing is we want to check the columns. We want to remove the columns that we don't need. We don't need both columns. Both hold down shift and press body and press home and remove columns. We also, based on analysis, we don't need cabin column. These are the we remove these columns because from the from the data exploration we did, we discovered that we don't need these particular columns. Then for our analysis, also we don't need this column. Okay, so based on analysis for today, we say we don't need these columns. And we also don't need the name of the individuals in our analysis. We just want to check the factors that affect survival in this particular data set. So let's start. Now, one of the first things we want to do, we want to create a primary key because there is no primary key. So to create a primary key, click on index, click on add column, go to the index column, then select from one. We have it here, move it to the beginning. That will serve as our index. And in analysis, it is better to keep your primary key as text, not as numbers. So right click on this and go to change type and set it as text. Good. Now the next thing is the P class. Now the P class is a categorical data. 
we have three classes we have one two and three one means first class two means middle class and then three means low class so we need to change it to the different categories the name of the different categories so how do we do that we do what is we use what is called conditional column so click on conditional column in this custom column let's call it new let's call it new p class and we're looking at p class if p class is equal to one right the person was in first class and add clause if p class is equal to two the person was in um, middle class else the person was in low class if we click ok to create this additional column for us we shift it to this point so very good let's check when we when we when we filter only the low class we have low class so it's working we cancel that step good we have new class so we don't need P class anymore so we click on remove and we change this data type to text good we do the same thing with the survive survive we have one representing the person survive zero means the person did not survive so we'll call it new survived so survive is equal to one that means the person survived, else the person did not survive. We click OK, we have this, we move it to this point and we delete the survived column and we edit, change the data type to text. Okay, so we look at this um, sex column, we have male and female. It is okay. Then in the age column, we have the different ages, and then we have the null, the blank. So we need to work on this blank. We need to replace the blanks with 28, which is the median. So we we'll right click on that column, we we'll click on replace values. We need to replace null with 28. And if we click on OK, we have this particular outline very good so we need to convert this to range using the minimum and the maximum it will take ages from zero and we'll have all the way to 80. okay so we'll analyze this data on an interval and we'll use a conditional column so we'll use interval of 10 so let's call this new underscore age if the age is less than or equal to 10 then we'll say the person is between 0 to 10 years so we'll do it an interval of 10 so from 0 to 9 so if the person is as an equal to 9 if the person is between 0 to, to 9 years we'll add column if the age of the person is less than or equal to 19 the person is between 10 and 19 years if the age of the person is less than or equal to 29 is between 20 and 29 and if the age is less than or equal to 39 person is between 30 to 39 years if the age of the person is less than or equal to 49 the person is between 40 to 49 years if the age is less than or equal to 59, the person is between 50 to 59 years. And if the age of the person 69, the person is between 60 to 69 years.
80 to 89 years. So let's delete this last one. Delete it. It's supposed to be 80 to 89 years. So we click on OK. Let's confirm the number of rows again. It's supposed to be 1309. 1309, correct. So we remove the new H. We remove the H column. Then we change the new H column to text. Change it to text. Good. At this point, this data is clean for analysis. So let's rename this table to Titanic underscore clean. Okay. And then let's load, close and load. This will load into Excel. Let's start with the analysis. Let's call this clean data. So the first thing we want to check, let's just check the survival rate, the number of persons that survived and the number of persons that did not survive. We use a pivot table to create that. So click on any point, click on insert, click on pivot table, allow all this select data range, new worksheets, and we'll click on OK. So in this point, we need our index where we do all our calculations, drag our index to give us a count of numbers, 1309 correct. Then we we'll drag our survival rates down here. So we have those that number of those that survived, 809 did not survive and 500 survived. We need to see this as a percentage of the whole. So if I click on this and go to show value as and then show value percentage of column total. So if looking at this, you see that um, let's format this even further. We just need only to one decimal place. One decimal place. Okay, so 61.8% survived and 38.2% did not survive. Let's represent this with a pie chart, with a do not chart. So we have this as our survival rate, and we can also improve the look of this chart. Right click on the chart itself and then format data series. Let's use um, 60 to represent this. Okay, good. We don't need this. So I right click on this and then say hide all data points. Remove the total. Okay. This gives us a percentage of those that survive against those that did not survive. So we can name this as survival. Okay, so for the next chart, we want to see the effect of the class on the survival rate. So we create a new chart. Let's go pivot chart. And the first thing we just want to check, we want to bring in index here, and then we want to see the class of passengers. Okay, and then let's, let's do a percentage of column total. Let's keep it at one decimal place. Okay, we can quickly see if we filter this, we sort it from largest to smallest, that 54%, we had more persons from the low class that boarded this ship, and then we have the high class and then the middle class. We can also represent this using a, a bar chart. The pie charts, the difference between these two will not be very clear. So that is a bar chart, a column chart. So we don't need hide all this detail and hide all this detail and click on this. We don't need the total. We don't need this total. So this is analysis by class, the passengers class. So we want to create another pivot. Simply copy this and come down here and paste. And we click on this, go to design, go to analyze, go to field list. So we want to compare this with survival. So drag survival to column and it will give us another clue. Now the only thing we need to do, so the total in the low class, we want to see the total low class. So this is giving us the number of those that did not survive and number of those that survived. So in this case, we want to see the total. In the low class, we want to see what percentage survived and what percentage did not survive. And we want to see the total here as a total of 100. So I click on it 
and let's summarize this as a percentage of the rows, not the column. So if we go now and we create, click a pivot chart. So, and since we want to compare it, so let's use a line chart from largest to smallest. Um, okay, so let's right click on this point and then say format axis. So let's start it from 0 0.2, that is 20%. Okay. So if we delete this, and then if we delete the lines, what do we have here? It simply means this is our survivor. So survival increases with respect to class, and number of deaths reduces with respect to class. So that means people in high class survived more, and people in low class reduce more. So there is a direct relationship between the survival rate and the class. That's the insights, the first insight we're getting from this data. That means possibly those in the first class had to leave the ship first before those in the low class. We can look at it here that did not survive and survive. In the first class, 61% survived, 38 did not survive. In the middle class, it was around almost the same thing. Then in the low class, 25 survived and 75% did not survive. So mostly people in the first class survived. I want to check the survival rates based on gender. So let's check based on gender. So we'll bring the index. Let's just check the gender distribution first. Okay, so sort this, um, show this as a percentage of column total and keep it at one decimal place. We had more of males in the ship compared to females. We had more of men to women that bothered the ship. Then, so let's copy this and create a second copy of it. Now in this case, let's drag the survival to new column. Let's look at it and we're doing a percentage of the row total. Okay. So when seen as a percentage of the row total, what do we have? If we bring in a line chart. Okay, interesting. We have another direct relationship here. Let's look at it. We can reduce this by 10. So right click, go to format series. Let's start it from one. Okay. I'll remove this, click on this line to remove this, right click here and hide all buttons. So we can see a direct relationship here that we have more of females that survived to male. Or let's let's do this, let's use a let's change this chart. Let's use a column chart. Okay, so we can see here that we have more of females that survived, few of them that died, more of males that died, and only few that survived. That's another interesting thing. So what does this mean? Possibly when the distress call came, what they said first was women should go first. That's another insight, that we had more women that survived. So this is based on gender. We thought we want to check by age, the survival rates by age, so click on its pivots and then we'll click on OK. OK, let's look at the age distribution. So we'll bring age to this and then bring the index here. OK, let's do a histogram. Let's see what this will look like. It will look more like a histogram. OK, so this is more like a histogram. So we we'll delete this. We we'll remove all points and we we'll remove the lines and we we'll remove the total. And we we'll also remove this. Okay, so quickly we can see that majority of the people that that were on that ship were between the ages of 20 to 29. This is understandable. Also, remember the mean was around 29, and the uh, mode was around 24, and the median was around 28. So we have a lot of concentration around it. So we had a lot of young people in this that uh, on this ship. Okay, we can also quickly change this to a percentage of the total okay so 
reduces to one decimal place. Okay, so let's copy this and then we come down here and let's see. So at this point, we drag survival rates to this, but now we use show value as percentage of row total. Okay, so when we have this and we we'll also use a charts. So what we have here, we can see that when it comes to children between 0 and 9 years, a lot of them survive. All the other ages, we now have a lot of uh, survival. The key parts is between, those are between 0 and 9. Those that are between 80 and 80, 89, they survive. And we just have one person in this data point. Um, rename by age. So we have seen survival based on um, new class, sex, gender, and age. So we can begin to compare them now. So we can go further to say based on people in this particular class, can we look further to say based on the agenda, what is the survival rate? So we'll copy this and paste here, and then we'll bring gender into this. So what we can see here is in the high class, a lot of the females survived in the high class, only a few of them died. When it comes to the middle class, it reduced from 96 to 88%. Then when it comes to the low class, it reduced up to 49%. So you can see that drop in the survival rate as you go down the class. So there is a relationship between gender and survival rate. So let's look, explore this further. So, so what we have here, if you go to the, so this is the high class, you see a lot of female survived. And um, when we get to the middle class, it dropped a little then it dropped seriously in the um, low class, even lower. So this is the only point where it goes lower than even the, uh, the number of deaths went higher compared to the number of those that survived. And for the male parts, now in the first class, which is the high class, a lot of the males still died. A lot of the males did not survive. But if we, as we check also, it drops. And uh, when we get to the middle class, the number of deaths increased, the number of survival reduced even further. And when we get to the low class, the number of deaths even increased further. And then the number of females. So we can analyze this further to say that, yes, in the first class, we had a lot of persons that survived compared to the number of persons that did not survive. But even the 61% that survived in the uh, first class, the 61% that survived in first class, that is this 61%, that 95% of them are female. So the survival rate in this first class, you see how female, more of the female. So even the male in the first class did not survive compared to the number of females that survived in the first class. Okay, we can also compare this further. Let's say based on the class, we can look at the class and the and the age. So we can see here clearly that the person that is between the age of 80 and 89 was in the first class. That's why the person survived for some reasons. Even those in the first class, these people between the age of 10 and 19 that survived more. Those between 70 and 79 did not survive. So when we come to the middle class, we can look at the middle class too. Everybody between 70 and 79 years, not, not, not one survived. Between 0 and 9, they all survived. So children were asked to go first. That's the theory. What we have been able to do is to go through what is exploratory data analysis, what is statistics, and how to handle missing values, and how to go in-depth into your data to discover insights. With these different charts, you can create a dashboard and do a report on this particular data. Thank you very much. Hello. Welcome to the final section of this tutorial on the Titanic dataset. In this section, we want to work on the dashboard. 
So in your Excel, create an additional worksheet. And let's call it dashboard. And what we need to do, go to view and turn off the formula bar, turn off the headings, turn off the grid lines to have a plain background that we will use. Click on any of the cells, Ctrl A to select all the cells. Go to home, go to more colors, go to custom colors, and then let's set the default color as 170 by 90 by 140. So this will be our default color for this design. We can make it a little darker. We have our first color shade. Now we need to generate a second color shade. So let's just make it a little darker. Secondly, we need a shape. So go to insert. We bring a rectangle with rounded corners. Okay, we'll take the rectangle from this point and lift it up to this point. Okay. Turn the edges to have this perfect shape. I'll reduce the shape a little and have some spaces towards the edges. For this, we want the background to be a gradient. So we'll go to Format and we'll go to Shape Fill and we pick Gradient and we'll go to more gradients and we we'll click on gradients we we'll look at the type of gradient set it to linear we'll look at the direction of the gradients we we'll use linear rectangle good and we we'll set the points we we'll set this first point click on this one click on the down arrow this is our default color. So let me use this color to show you how to change it. So we we'll just make it darker. So this will be the default dark color for our design. We we'll have that first one. We we'll change the second one to that same dark color. Okay, now we undo this. Change the second one to a shade of dark. Bring this a little in and the third color, the same color, and the fourth color, the same color. Okay, so if I close this, we have this is what we have. The outline is blue, we don't need that blue outline, so the outline should be this original shade of color that we started with. Okay, so we have this as our design. We also need to give it a, a glow effect. So let's put the glow effect, but the glow effect also will change the color of the glow effect. So go to more options and we we'll give it a dark glow effect. So it comes out this way. Good. This is our background. Next we need the shapes that will hold the different charts. Let me bring up this one. And frame this to the edge. We need to also use a gradient effect on this. So the same way we did the other color. Shape fill, we use gradients, go to more gradient. And we we'll select gradients. This time we will set it from linear up. Set the gradient as linear up and we'll reduce the level of blackness. Yes, we we'll have the effect. We'll take off the outline, we don't need an outline. So we'll click no line. Okay, let's see what a solid line will look like. Okay, so we can add the line on it to really make it stand out. Okay, we need another shape, but this time we'll take the rectangle with top corners rounded and we'll draw it to zoom in to be sure. 
Okay. To the top and curve it a little. Okay. So for this particular one, we'll put the yes, we'll put the shape fill, we'll give it the light color. And the outline there will be okay. In this case, I'll use no outline. Okay, give it a little down shadow effect. Okay, so set our screen back to 100. So we group these two now. Right click on each of them and then say group. We copy and paste one. Three, so select the three and go to format, and you will see what is called align horizontally. It will create equal space between them, and then align all of them to the top. So we have that aligned correctly. So Control C and Control V, and we can also align this. We have this as our default templates. So let's start bringing in the charts. The first thing we want to bring in is the survival rates. Copy the charts, Ctrl C, and we'll go to the dashboard and then we say Ctrl V. So first thing we remove this white space, right click on it, go to format charts area, click no, no fill and no line. We also don't need the legend, click on the plus sign and say yeah. no legend. We don't need a white line around, click on the donut itself and say no line. So, first we need the total of people that survived, then the total of number of people that did not survive. Click on the donut chart, click on solid fill, and we'll take one of these colors. We'll go back to the color again. Okay, we'll take this main color for the donuts. We'll make this color a little darker, so let's say 80%. Good. Then the part we want emphasis, click on it twice, once, the second time. Then go back again to the solid color, but this time we remove this. So we have this as our first design for the donuts. So we just click on it, Ctrl C and Ctrl V to create the second donut. So we'll hold and shift to check the alignment. Okay, so we can check the alignment. Click on this and go to alignment and say align right. In this second donut now, we'll do the reverse. Click on this one, remove. Click on this one twice and we'll make the transparency 80%. Now we'll click on this other one twice. And we remove the transparency. Okay, so we have our first donut for the design. This represents the total number of products survived, and this represents the total number of deaths. The next thing we want to bring the total number of people that we have, and then also indicates the number of people that survived and the number of people that died. So, firstly, we click on this and convert its true value as no calculation. We can come to this point and then type equal to and then click on this we have this if we drag this here and also drag this here to give us the number and we bring this here to give us the total so we can easily calculate the percentage this will be equal to this divided by this will give us this number and this one will be equal to this this divided by this it also give us a number if we change both of them to percentage, format sales, percentage, no decimal, please. 
to give us 68 and this percent. Let's go come to our dashboard. We need a text box. So click on insert. Click on this and click on a text box. We draw a text box here. We'll go to view, bring up the formula bar. So we'll come to this point and we'll say equal to this to have this total figure. Okay, format it to number. Number 1000 secretor, remove the decimal places. So in our text box, click inside, click on equal to and click on this. So we have this, increase the font size. Let's use something around 48. Let's make it bold. Okay. For the text box, we don't need shape fill. We say no fill. Shape outline, we say no outline. For the text inside, select it and we'll select the bright lighter color yes so we have this as our number we need to format this to the center so click on it and say format center format center let me pick one of these as syllable so i ungroup this i want to take just the top here so i have a copy of this and i group this back group okay so we can have these as labels so we need to make this label smaller to accommodate space and we need to align it with this one bring it down so that to align with this one top align top okay so in this text box we want to add text so total number of passengers Okay, and the font size 11 bold white 10 8 9. Okay, 8 total number of passengers, and we'll make it in the middle. Okay, so let's turn off the form number so we have space. I'm copy and we paste the second one. Let's see, be sure that it can carry. And we have a third one. Let's align all of these one, two, and three. Let's align them. Align them towards the center. So this would survive around that. This one did not survive let's copy this and paste here we need to show the show this as a percentage so we'll bring up the formula by again in this case what we need for those that survived is 38 percent so we'll click on Click on this, click on Format Painter, click on this and paste it here. Okay, the 38 is a little too, too big for it. Let's reduce it to 20, let's reduce it to 18. And 18% here. So we'll take it to the middle. So we'll copy this. And bring it here. Click on survive and click on this to give us this. If we click here, click on format painter, click here twice. Automatically be arranged. Click on it to them, go to align, align towards the center. Okay, so we have this as one of our views. So let's start bringing in the charts. So we want to bring in this class first. We'll come here. We'll convert this to numbers. No calculation, leave it as numbers. So we'll click on this and we'll say 
add data labels to this then we copy ctrl c and we go to the dashboard we paste it here so we make it to fit into this workspace right click on the white area and we we'll go to the format chart area we we'll say no fill and no line so we'll click on the chart itself we want to change the color and then click on solid line we we'll want to use this as the line and no line okay and then we we'll click on the data points okay so i right click on it and we look for fonts we we'll go to the color of the fonts and we change the color of the fonts to this it's not very bright so we use white change the color of the fonts to white okay came out well click on this one right click here also click on fonts change the color to white and we'll make this one to be bold so right click here by class format it it's on nine and we'll make it bold click on it keep it in the center we'll go to the gender charts we we'll do the same thing show value as no calculation so we have the actual numbers so we copy this and place this on the dashboard okay so we click on this we we'll click here and we say format chat area no fill no line come to the chat itself and we say no line and we'll make the default color the default color to be this okay so we we'll double click and we'll make the female to be a darker shade we we'll reduce the dark yes okay so we can do this and then the legend we can make the color of the legend we can make it white and bold so this will be by gender bold on nine and center the third one we need is by age we right click on this and we say no calculation we we'll click on each one of them and we say add data labels for this particular chart we'll make it look a little more like histogram so right click on it and then click on format data series now in the format data series click this third option you will see gap widths so let us reduce the gap widths okay we use something like this so it looks more like a histogram copy this to our dashboard okay so also right click the chart area and format chart area we we'll say no fill and no line we we'll click on the axis we we'll click on the charts and we change the color the same color we have in the first one and we we'll also say no line right click on this and go to fonts change the font color to white and make it nine bold and these other ones right click on them also font color change it to white this one will be by age font size nine make it bold and make sure it's in the middle so now we need to bring the rest of the charts the three parts areas the first one is this so i click on this and show value as no calculation then we change the charts to 100 percent stacked bar charts so let's right click on this and show data labels on this show data labels on this to so increase all the width okay so let's copy this and go to our dashboard 
So right click and say format chat area. Remove the line and remove the background. Let's change this color to white, the font color. Color code this to say format data series. We can say the color, no line. Then the solid color should be this, yes. Also say for this one, no line. And the solid color should be a darker color. Then the data series, change the color of the data series to white. Change the color of the data series to white also. We'll take off the legend to have more space. We'll check the legend. So we have more space for the chat there. By survival, by age. So home, we bold this, put it on nine, and we'll take it to the middle. If we add data labels to this, and we change the font to white. Then we go to by gender, and we show this value as numbers, as, as calculations. Let's change the chart. And we add the labels. We also add the labels here too. And we copy the chart. And we go to our dashboard. And we paste it here. Okay. Right click on the chart area. And format chart area. No fill and no line. So right click and Work on this no line and the color for this. We use a solid color to survive this dark and the not survive is the light color. Okay, and we change the fonts to white. Change the fonts here also to white. And we we'll change the work area, the font, also to white, and we we'll make it bold. Font also to white and bold. So this is by. Survival by gender, bold and the fonts to maintain it at nine. We we'll also remove this to no calculation, no calculation, and we we'll add the data labels here, and we we'll also add the data labels here. So right click on this and increase the width of the line to 5 and then we we'll also increase the width of this line to 5 ok so let's copy this and go to our dashboard and paste here ok so we'll remove the format chart area no fill and no line. Then good. We take this, remove the legend. Remove the legend for us to have more space. This legend here will explain everything for us. Click on the survived and solid line. We we'll use the dark line. Good. And for those that did not survive, we use the light colored line. Okay. Then for the fonts, the same thing, we make it white. And these are the fonts, same thing. 
to make it white. Click on this and change the font also to white and make it bold. We need a logo for this particular company. So let's bring the go to insert, click on icon, and we can simply insert a, a ship. Let's see a ship. Yes, we have this, and then we say insert. Okay, we have this nice looking ship. We can as well change the color of this ship, format it, and we can fill the white. Let's insert a text box. I remember it's Titanic, that's the name of the company. The font will be white, and it will be, let's see. Let's make it bold. Formats. No fill and no outline. All of the fonts to make it white. Okay, so we need two of it. Let's group them. Okay, so let's change this color to the dark color. And then let's change the right up to text color, change it to the dark color also. Let's bring in the slicers. Click on any of the charts. We go to analyze and insert the slicer. So let's bring in the first slicer. And right click on the slicer, click on report connections, check all the boxes we have. And click on OK. So let's see. Okay, it's showing 139 here. Let's change this chart. Let's change this chart and use this one instead. Yes, yeah, so let me consider the difference of five. Okay, good. So we have this as our, as our first slicer. Let's format the slicer, the color of the slicer. Format slicer, equal slicer, click on format. So let's pick a color. Go to custom color and then let's use the dark color of 48, 24, and 39. Locate and we come to the border. Let's say the border inside should be the light color and Color of the fonts was set the color of the fonts to be white. Let's look at this. Let's pick this. Okay. Yes, we need something like this. Okay, let's work on this first. Go to slicer settings. I will just call it class. Okay. And we increase the number of columns to three. So to enter these points. Okay, so we need a second slicer. Click on this and we go to analyze. And we click on inserts and we click on X and we'll bring this up. Very easy. We click on options and we select this one and we increase the number of 
the two and we did this to say gender and we need a third slicer and we use that one for the age go to options and we click on this and we need this to be nine need nine of it I'm gonna click on it and we we'll see age age range So we need to right click this one and report connection. Report connection of this. And also report connection, this one. I'll click on OK. So let's see, we we'll check in first class, total of 323 persons in first class, 709 persons in lower class, and 277 persons in the middle class. That's okay. Total number of female, 466. Total number of male, 843. Those are 0 to 9 years, we had 82 of them. 10 to 19, 143 of them. 607, 20 to 29. 30 to 39, 232. And 135 for 40 to 49. And 70, 50 to 59. And 32, 60 to 69. Seven of them for 70 to 79. And just one person, 80 to 89. And we can turn off and we can check this and we can check all the way through. And we can also check this. Okay. So thank you very much for being part of this discussion. I hope you enjoyed it the same way I did. I'll see you in the next class.